Once upon a time, there was a bear family living in the forest. One morning, Mama Bear prepared porridge for breakfast. As it was hot, Papa Bear decided to take Mama Bear and Baby Bear for a walk in the forest. Near the forest, there lived a beautiful girl named Goldilocks. As she had beautiful golden hair, she was called so. On that morning, she was walking in the forest and lost her way. She saw a cottage nearby and knocked on the door. But nobody was there, so she went inside. That cottage belonged to three bears. Goldilocks was very hungry. She saw three bowls of porridge on the dining table. Firstly, she tried a spoonful from Papa Bear's big bowl which was too hot. Next, she tried a porridge from Mama Bear's medium bowl which was too cold. Finally, she tried from Baby Bear's small bowl and said, This porridge is just right. And she ate the whole bowl. After eating, she saw three chairs in that room. She sat on Papa and Mama Bear's chair, but they were too big. Then she sat on Baby Bear's chair and said, this chair is just right to sit. While rocking the chair, it broke down and she fell down. Goldilocks felt very tired, so she went upstairs to the bedroom. She saw three beds in the bedroom. She lied on the first bed, which was too hard. The second bed was too soft. But the third bed felt just right and she slept in it. Soon the three bears came home. What is this? Someone has been having my porridge, said the papa bear. Someone has been having my porridge too, said the mama bear. Someone has finished all my porridge, cried the baby bear. Papa and Mama Bear said that someone was sitting in their chair. Someone has broken my chair, cried the baby bear. They all rushed to the bedroom. Both Papa and Mama Bear said that there was someone who slept in their bed. Oh Mama, Papa, someone is sleeping in my bed, said the baby bear. After hearing the voices, Goldilocks woke up frightened, saw the bears and ran into the forest. The moral of the story is the need to respect the privacy and property of others. Because what Goldilocks does by entering another's house and using their property is totally wrong.